Hey everybody, Fiber and Fines here. I'm Mary Beth and I'm Laura. Laura, it's Friday. <laughs> Thank God. Happy Wait. Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> Are you so excited that it's Friday? I am. I'm excited because it's Friday and Katie's in town. Katie's here. Katie, you want to just come say hi just before we get started? <laughs> She's over there She's rolling like, her Aww. eyes. She's like, oh, mom, stop. Everybody wants to say hi to Katie and her to get off the <laughs> it's hard enough to catch on her little pregnant belly. It's Katie. <laughs> oh, look, there's Max. There's Max. <laughs> Yay. Thanks, Katie. All right, Debbie guys. says, Laura, look at your pretty hair. Thanks, Debbie. What a nice way to start a Friday night. Laura's got it going on. With a compliment. Nikki, what? we need the little sloths oh, to put on our yeah. wine glasses. Angela oh, said, hey, Laura, and the other one. <laughs> Who said that, Angela? Oh my God, <laughs> that is fantastic! Isn't that great? That was so funny. There we go, Laura and the other one. <laughs> oh, somebody said Katie's baby bump gets five swung bases. Yes, love it. We've had a fun week. We have. We have. We've gotten some stuff in the mail that's been fun. Yes. And we had a visitor this week. Yes. It was so exciting. Wasn't that fun? A visitor. Lunch at Layman's. Have you seen her in the chat? Yes. I don't see her. Say something, Jeannie. So it's I can Jeannie. put you up. So Norma can, Jean. So I can put you up on the screen. <laughs> Norma Jean plus one. <laughs> Michelle says she's, drink, she's drinking melted ice cream. Gross. Oh, yeah, me. Norma Jean plus one. So, Jeannie Beecham came to see us she did. this week. She came to Layman's. She went to the shed here in Paducah. And then she came over to Layman's. And Laura and I met Jeannie on our lunch break. Yeah, she was in Nashville visiting her kids. Mm -hmm. And she went and drove all the way up here just to say hi to us. She did. Isn't that nice? That was so sweet. It was so sweet. We got to go to lunch together. She met Mama Layman. Yeah, it was great. I think my mom was so excited because, you know, it's one thing that everybody's, you know, typing it in, Mama Layman or whatever. But mom came in after Jeannie. And when she came in, Jeannie's like, oh, Mama Layman. And my mom was like, Oh, I mean, you're like, you know, you could tell she was like surprised to hear that. See, her mother used to be called that. So it's very sweet and sentimental. I love it. Yeah. So, yeah, we were super <laughs> stoked to meet uh, Jeannie. It was awesome. Oh, my God. Look who is in the house. Get out. Get out of town. Charlotte. Charlotte. Where have you been? Charlotte. Uh, I've missed you so much. Cheers. Cheers Charlotte. to Charlotte. Welcome. Charlotte, we love you. It's not, a, <laughs> it's not a party unless Charlotte's here. <laughs> and <laughs> wait, when we find Jeannie said, "Loved meeting y'all. We loved meeting you too, Jeannie. Thank you so much." Nikki, I would just like to let you know that you don't have any fans. <laughs> oh, yay! Well, we have a uh, new Instagram up. Courtesy of Sugar Witches. Yes. Sugar Witches has put us up in a new... Um, Nick, uh, Nikki is who? I think she might have been the Dark Phoenix from X-Men. I'm not positive, but I think that's who it was. And then I was Harley Quinn. I'm and then, not sure who you were either. I was an awesome compilation of several awesome different people. I don't awesome. know who they were, <laughs> but they look fantastic. Charlotte says she's out on bond. <laughs> well, we're glad that you're spending your time with us. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, welcome back, Charlotte. We're really glad that you're here. Also, guys, if you are brand new, don't go away. We do have a point. We'll get to it here pretty quickly in about 10 minutes. In about 10 minutes, we're going to sell five items. We call it the Fat Bird Five. And it's going to be great. Yes. I've got the stuff behind me. Hey, Vinny. I see Vinny in the chat, right? Yeah. Vinny, do you like, you like mermaid stuff, but do you like, also like, like marlin, like fish planters, you know, like the big swordfish that oh, jump yeah. up out of the water. I saw one of those and I was tempted to go back and get it, but I want to know if you like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let us know, Vinny. I want to know what you think, Vinny. Yeah, it's hard to describe. It's like it's on a wave and then it's like a swordfish, right? Yes. It's kind hey, of cool. thrift you. Thrift you. Sam, Sarah, welcome. 
Katie, uh, Vintage and Vinyl, welcome. I hope you're feeling better. I see that you're feeling a little better. Oh, good. So that's really good. Yes. I had a day where I didn't feel good either this week, but I'm feeling better too. So speaking of Katie, yes, from Vintage and Vinyl. Yeah, let's let's talk about this. Speaking of Katie, oh, Vintage, uh, Vintage Vinny said yes, I do. Sending me a couple of pics. We don't have it well, in hand. Maybe we'll go tomorrow and see if they still got it. I was kind of thinking it might be a surprise for you, so maybe I won't send a pic, but. You know, <laughs> look what we got. Speaking of, Katie, you got really oh not me. So yeah, I got this in the mail from Katie, vintage to vinyl, <laughs> and this was purchased for me from Mid Century Wasted. So it was like a dynamic duo. Jamie's got the kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, it was from Vintage and Vinyl. Oh my god! It's the little kangaroo, the little boxing kangaroo from Pulp Fiction. He's the little like valet. He is cuter in person oh my gosh. than I thought he was going to be. So you guys need to let me know in the comments what you want to, what we want to name this guy. So I think that his name needs to be a character name from Pulp Fiction. Of course it does. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like Honey Bunny <laughs> or Mia Wallace or Marcellus Wallace's briefcase <laughs> or Zed or Butch. Butch would be the ideal name and I'm yeah not, but i'm not sure but you're not married to that one i'm not married to butch i'm kind of leaning toward honey bunny <laughs> be cool honey bunny oh somebody said butch down there <laughs> sherman who's sherman oh i can't think of sherman zed yeah zed's dead baby <laughs> <laughs> oh that's good charles says butch because it was his exactly yeah i know that Butch is like the obvious answer, but I kind of like Honey Bunny. <laughs> Michelle, I know we talked about that too. The Royale with cheese. <laughs> that should be his name. Royale with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie says it's dead. Hey, Misty. Misty? There's our buddy Misty. Get out of town. Get out of town. Awesome. Oh, and look, who else is here? It's David from Toledo Antique. Hey, David. Welcome, David. Very nice. I like Quentin, too. That's pretty good. Or for Quentin Tarantino, we could name him QT and call him Cutie. Oh, that's a good one. Paluka? Paluka. I'm, I'm not. I need to rewatch the movie, obviously. It's been a while. Maybe oh, I'll do that soon. It's been a long time for me. <laughs> it's been longer than it has for you, I'm sure. Well... Yeah, probably. It's one of those movies that I feel like if I catch it on, I'll watch some of it, and then I'll watch some of it another time. It's rare that I will watch the whole thing mm -hmm. through. Right. Yes, Mary Roar. It looks like he has boobs. <laughs> it does. He's got these boxing gloves on. Jamie called him the boobaroo. <laughs> somebody was ask Somebody was asking for him. <laughs> With that name is what I'm talking about. That's funny. Okay. We have got the Fat Bird 5 coming up. We Should do. we show anything else? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I, we, we need to keep, yeah, doing friend mail. Yes. You go ahead. Okay. You do that one. I'll do this one. Okay. Then we got a cute little card from Kelly at Mossstone uh, Story Vintage. This sweet little rocking horse Valentine card. Isn't that cute? And that's from Kelly. So sweet. Thanks, Kelly. And then we got for, from Lee Spencer. Yes, Lee. Lee Spencer said that she wanted to send us some jewelry because <laughs> we had so much fun with our jewelry jar the last time. I feel like I'm terrible at the jewelry jars. <laughs> but I can't, I'm not going to show all this jewelry to you, but I'll pick out a couple of pieces. She sent a whole oh, wow. awesome bag full. Mary Beth, she sent this one for you especially, I think, is she what did. the note said. The blue and orange. Nice. So I guess you should put that one on. Our colors. And because the note says, let's see, what does the note say? Oh, Michelle's thinking we need a watch party for. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah. I love it, Michelle. Um, yeah. She sent this great little note, and she says that. The blue and orange is for Mary Beth, and the heart of gold is for Laura. Thank you very much. <laughs> ah, 
<laughs> I love you. I love you, Lee. That is the greatest line. That's great. That's the best one I've heard in a while. But look, it is very, so pretty. Look at that. Heather, that's a fantastic answer, by the way. What is? Well, you missed it. You probably wouldn't appreciate it anyway. <laughs> well, pretty. Was, it, was it bad about me? No, it's not all about you all the time. But yeah, Lee sent us this awesome jewelry to go through. Maybe we can show some of it after the fat bird five. Yeah, we can do that. I'm I wore the wrong sweater for tonight, Mandy. Yeah, you can't have a turtleneck on and show any jewelry, right? But look how pretty that is. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give the um bag of jewelry that Leith sent us, I'm gonna give it five out of five swung bases. Awesome. I yes, I agree with that. And <laughs> I'll show some more of it in a little bit. Um, in the background there, David from Toledo Antiques said, um, stretch faces are popular. We think he thinks that you've like really started a trend. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. It wasn't me. I jumped on the band the bandwagon. Okay. I'm, I'm so sad. Look, your necklace shows really good. Am I, I'm going to have to like put a t-shirt on or something. Well, do it. It's going to be fine. Okay. I'm going to get into the rules of the Fat Bird Five. Okay. You're so good at the rules. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. So every Friday night we sell five items and we call it the Fat Bird Five. Each item will have a price and an item number. If you are the first person to type the item number into the chat, you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you are a winner, we need uh, three pieces of information from you. We need your real name along with your YouTube name. We need your mailing address so that we can estimate your shipping. And we need your PayPal email address so we can send you an invoice. And we need all three of those things to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. All of that information is also in the description of the video. That's awesome. Everybody does such a good job with that. Yeah. And also, uh, if you're interested in bidding, if you're in top chat, don't do that. Live chat is better. <laughs> so be in live chat. That helps you. And also... You most likely are going to appear first in the chat. You're going to look like you're first, but that's not necessarily the case. So we stream to Facebook and Periscope as well. So we get all the comments in on the same <laughs> feed. So we will take whoever is first on our end. I'm laughing at the chat. Sorry. You love to interrupt me and laugh at the Sorry. chat. Did I cover it all? Yes. You did such a good job. And thank you to all the people that uh, emailed us about the perfume bottles this mm. week. We sold... A lot of them. We may have to show. Well, no, you, we took them to the house, didn't we? No, they're here. They're here. The uh -huh. ones we sold are at your house. The ones that yeah. are left are here. So we might show a few of the ones that are left and talk about those a little bit. But everybody did a really good job of sending all their information to us for that. Yeah, they did. We had lots of new people. We did. New buyers for those. We did. That yeah. was awesome. Yeah. Uh, all of the paperweights from two weeks ago are gone. We sold all of those. But we do have a few perfume bottles left. If you're interested in perfume bottles, be sure to check out this uh, week's video. Hi, Annie P. And there's a list in the comments section of the ones that are left. Hi. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to catch up here. Okay. What is? What did Michelle say that Misty's talking about? Michelle. I'm just being nosy. I just want to know what everybody's Michelle. talking about. <laughs> Michelle, my weekend emojis. It's oh. A bunch of poo. Michelle. Michelle's getting ready to have her surgery, Mary Beth. Oh, yeah. We want to come up there and and, and uh, help out, but it's too far. Well, we could just jump on a plane. I know. We could just, like, tell work that we're Our little Paducah off. airport goes straight to um, Chicago. It's the only place it flies to. So, I mean, we're basically there. <laughs> I know. We could do it. Okay. E Eclectic Deb wants to know if you are interested in selling your faces back there. I'm not. I'm not eclectic, Deb. I'm starting a collection. I've got red, orange, and then the bittersweet color. I need to get some blue. I need to get a green one, maybe a purple one. Yeah, at first you thought you were just going to want to do blue and orange, but we've seen several collections that have each of the different colors, right. and they're so pretty. Now, I will tell you this. I will probably end up selling this blue one once I find a, a bigger blue one. Right. So that you want, you want to size up a little. Right. So that might be one day. <laughs> okay, guys. So you've heard the rules uh, for the Fat Bird Five. You've gotten the information. If you missed it, it's in the description of the video. So without further ado, let's do the Fat Bird Five. 
Back to you, Laura. Yes, one last thing. I did think of something. Oh, there's my hair. My hair's sticking up. Uh oh. Um, it's the first to claim it. First to claim it. First to claim it. Purchases. Yeah. Did you say that? Did I, I think miss so. It? Oh, you did. I think I said if you're the first person to type the item number into the chat, you will win the opportunity to purchase the item. I'm oh, sorry. I said that. <laughs> sorry about that. Very good. <laughs> okay. So we want to just jump right into yeah, it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We have a theme tonight. We have little planters. Our, our theme, theme tonight is planters. Mary Beth. What? If, if we have planters, then surely that we have some air plants. Oh, yeah, I do. Show. So our first planter is this sweet little guy. Do you think he's a swan? Oh, yeah. Look how cute a little air plant <laughs> would be in there. That air plant looks like it was made for that swan. I know, right? Look at that. <laughs> it really was. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, Tiger Lily. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's coming through on the on this on the video very much, but there's just a hint of yellow on his wings. So he's like white and a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it kind of fades to the yellow a little. Yes. He is not marked. I think he's so pretty. Show him right in the front of his face like that. Yeah, isn't he cute? Very cute. Okay. He's just a little guy. He's very small. Yeah, so he's just ten dollars. Ten dollars. Turned out cheap. Ten dollars, and he's number twenty-five. Number twenty-five. Ten dollars. Hey, Stephanie. Stephanie. How's it going, Stephanie? Oh, Davis says that's the first time he's seen an airplane. Really? <laughs> we love some air plants around here. <laughs> it's kind of a running joke. <laughs> but it's for real. Misty loves some air plants. Yes, she does. Okay, so the first person that I uh, see on my end is Helen Booty. Helen Booty. Thanks, Helen Booty. Thanks, Helen. Oh, I started to say I have to put the price. You put the prices. Very good. I did. Good for you. Second item that we've got, second planter, is this little green. It looks kind of like, like a pea pod or something. <laughs> I still don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks kind of like McCoy to me, although it's not marked. But it does resemble some McCoy that I've seen. Mm -hmm. But does anybody know what it's really supposed to be? The, the, the pupa. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh. cool, though. I mean, you could put like a row of succulents in here. Oh, yeah. It's, if you did that, that would be so cute. Yeah. I don't have the perfect air plants to put in here. But, no, but like you need one with color in it right in the middle. And oh, yeah. Two ones on the end. It's so cute. I think so. So, yeah. I think a shell? I, maybe it is a shell. Yeah, maybe. Maybe because it's green, it doesn't it doesn't scream shell to us. Hey, Kiwi. Pam's here. Pam. Pam doesn't usually catch us because we're on so late. I know. Hi, Pam. We're happy to see you, Pam. We're happy to see you. You're burning it up with those Goodwill videos. I love them. I watch all of them. Sandra Kay says it's a pea pod. That's what I think. All right. Anyway, it's cool, and it would be really cool with, like, three little succulents in there, I think. It's super cute, and it's just $12, Mary Beth. $12. It's $12, and it's number 33. Number 33. $12 for the pea pod, the pea pod shell. <laughs> Hi, Lorraine. Hey, while well, we're taking well, in between items here, um, say me if you're new tonight in the chat. Oh, yeah. We might have some new people tonight. Absolutely. We didn't ask that right off the bat like we usually do. No, we didn't, did we? Mm -hmm. We usually do that. Mm -hmm. Look how at him. Wa how do you water an air plant? Who asked? Um, beginner beading with Janet. So there's different, I think there's different styles. Some people take a, a like a squirt bottle and mist them. Like, you know, you can just put them anywhere. You can put them literally anywhere. Some people squirt them with spray bottles. I soak mine like once every seven to ten I days. I'm talking. I'm just saying, why are these people that we told us? We're talking about here. maintenance. 
Ear plant maintenance. It's very important. Hi, Kristen. <laughs> we love our new people. So, yeah. I soak mine in a bowl. I submerge Hi, it. Hi, Judy. <laughs> Once every seven to ten days. Uh, you like me? No. <laughs> Go away. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me... We have this little hippo. He's very cute. By the way, I just wanted to say one thing. Go ahead. Everybody's getting their little hearts set on this little hippo, and he does have just a little tiny problem. He does. He has a crack. And I think you can see it better from the inside, actually. Yeah, maybe so. I'm trying. My camera is not picking it up. It's right here. Yeah. I think it shows pretty good. Right there. But look, he's like he's blushing. And he's, on this side, he's just it's a little pink. It's right here. So it does have a little hairline crack on there. Also, he's got a little discoloration on the top of his head. We've tried to get that off, but we're not successful. But other than that, he is a real cutie. <laughs> and air plant would look cute in him too. Oh, yeah. I've never seen a hippo. So, you know, you see the planters all the time. I had just never seen a hippo. So even though he had a little crack, I had to get him. Indeed. You guys have to watch the House Hippo commercial. The House Hippo? Hmm. What is that? He's also unmarked, just so you know. But very cute. So be aware that he does have the little hairline, a little bit of discoloration on his forehead. So the price will reflect that. Perfectly Purple is new. Hi, Perfectly Purple. Hey. Is that what it said? I think that's what it said. Mm-hmm. All right, Laura, what do you got? Okay. So the Hippo is... $12. $12. Because he has a little crack. And he's number 42. Number 42. He's so cute. <laughs> I love him. He's blushing. Ow. Jane Smith, you're probably lagging a little because you put in number 33. So um, just go out and come back in. And you'll be probably up up with us on the next item. What? What? Look who got it. This person? Uh-huh. Yeah. Hold on. So Jane Smith um, put in 33. We, she might be lagging. That's what I just said. <coughs> Jane, if... Uh, I, just this whole thing. I know, but I don't think anybody claimed 33 is what I'm getting at. Oh. So... So, Jane, put in 33 again if, if you do want that one. I just want to double check. Oh, nobody claimed the pod? I don't think so. I thought they did. No, nobody claimed, the nobody claimed oh, okay. the pod. So, Jane, if you do want the pea pod, type in 33 again. My bad, then. Maybe she wasn't lagging. Maybe she just decided she wanted it. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So, the winner of the hippo, Thrift You, Thrift is the you. first person that I see on my end. Very nice. This, that typed in 42. Very nice. Congratulations, Sam, Sam slash Sarah. I bet it's Sam. I bet it's Sam. Thanks, Sam. You got it. She's so cute. That was a very popular one. Yeah, I've never seen a hippo before. So they, they must be hard to come by. Nikki, would you mind to watch the chat and just see if, if that 33 comes back through? If, if Jane did want that for sure. It's Sam. Yay. <laughs> Vin uh, Vinny, it's not a chamber pot. It's a pea pod. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> so you've never seen a hippo. Uh -huh. I think giraffes are pretty rare as well. Yes. So look at this, you guys. So Mary Beth and I have been going back and forth on, you know, how cute this giraffe really is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's adorable. I love that. I don't know if you guys remember Patrick having like a little giraffe planter like this with the flowers at the top. But they're so cute and you just don't see them. And it's marked Made in Japan. Yeah, right? let me find it. Hold on. Yeah. It's got the little Japan mark on the bottom. Gabrielle is thanking my mom for getting her stickers for her. Jody, no, ah. we, we didn't buy this in a video. We found this um, at our local... Antique mall, right? Did yeah. this come from the shed? Yes. Yeah. But I don't think it's in one of the shed videos. Was it? 
It might be. I think it is actually. Yeah. Anyway, there is a little bit of floral foam still in the bottom of this. We didn't dare to try to get that out because we didn't want to accidentally <laughs> cause a disaster. Yeah. So we'll leave that up to the buyer <laughs> to get that floral foam out. But very cute little planter. I just think he's beautiful. I just love him. He's beautiful. And there's no damage. I will say this. You know how you, I like, you know, run my fingers over everything just mm -hmm. because I can't see very well anyway with my glasses on. When you touch the end of his tail. Oh, it right there. It feels a tiny bit rough, but I, you can't, you can't see it. I just, that's just full disclosure though. It just feels a little bit rough. Right. I don't know. Yeah. But you can't see any kind of damage on yeah. him. And the same, the same goes for the top. There are a few places that feel a little bit rough. I think it's because the design is up and down. Yeah. I don't, but I don't see any chips. Yeah. I don't think they are. I don't, I don't think they are. Anyway. Okay. Little giraffe mm -hmm. planter about as tall as my hand. So he's just very rare. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to Made in Japan. $28 for him. $28 for the giraffes. Yes, $28 and they're number 13. Number 13. Cute. I know, it's so cute. All right, there we go. She says she's too poor for that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Okay, the first person who typed in 13 on my end, I heart old things. Is that what you see? That's what I see. That's what I see too. I see somebody, a couple of other numbers that weren't quite it. Right. And we just, we have to skip them. If you, I know it's an accident when you type them in like that, but yeah. we have to skip them. Exactly. Yeah. So I heart old things. Thank you so much. Thank you. I heard old things. What is your first name? I. 50. It's worth that at least. <laughs> <laughs> is it really? Are you, are you sure about that? Okay. Ready? Yes. You ready, Freddie? Thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. This one's cute, too, I think. This is a little puppy. Bryn. 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 Oh, that's a cool name. That's a pretty name. Awesome. So we've got this cute little puppy. What kind of dog is this, Laura? Well, well, what do y'all think? Maybe a Westie? I don't know. But a Westie might have more pointy ears. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? What, what kind is he? I have no idea. But he's marked good on the bottom. West Highland Terrier, somebody says. Mm, that's very a Westie, specific. somebody said that, yep. But yeah, look at that. Here's his mark on the bottom. And a sticker. Now, Napco Wear. You don't hardly ever get that. Yeah. A mark and a sticker. So Napco Wear Japan. Sticker and the mark. And it has a little bit of crazing. Yeah. You see where that's black right there? Mm -hmm. They had written with a Sharpie on there. And when I rubbed oh. it off, it got in the crazing, in the crazing. a little bit. I okay. Think that, I think that'll come out because I just did that. Well, we've I think we've learned. Yorkie or Westy. Okay. Anyway. This does have a little bit of crazing on the bottom, but I don't see any chips or cracks on him at all. He's in really good shape. We got him on our little Evansville trip. And he's clean. He hasn't had any sort of plants in him before until now. We got, <laughs> we got him at St. Vinny's, Vinny. <laughs> but yeah, he, even around, even on his body, it's hard to see because of the the fluff on him, but he does have crazing all over. I haven't seen one like him in person. He's so Have cute. You, I, I just never seen one. I like it. So $16 for him. I yeah. think that's a really good deal for him. He's a, he's a decent size planter. Yeah. And I like, I don't know. You could just put anything in him. Okay. $16 and he's number seven. $16, number seven. Somebody says, I love his eyes. I know. So Hi, Miss Pamela. How you doing? That's a good deal. 
You said that he probably, that you liked him better than the giraffe. He was a cutie. <laughs> I've got Brooke. Oh, hi, Brooke. Thanks, Thank, Brooke. Thank you, Brooke. I've got you first. Bam. Brooke Lincoln. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to bring this back real quick because that one person, Jane, did type in 33. Yes. But she didn't, she didn't verify it. And it was late. So I just want to throw this out there one more time. <laughs> this little pea pod planter. I don't think anybody wants your pea pod planter. It's fine. It's fine <laughs> if, if you don't want it. I just wanted to verify. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's $12 and it's number 33. $12. Is that right? Yeah. $12, number 33. Yeah, just in case. Oh, look. Somebody does not want your pea pod. I've got Sandra Kay. <sighs> Thanks, Sandra Kay. Thanks, Sandra. And look, there's right underneath her is Cindy Lou. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Jane Smith came back. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this always, this happens to everybody, Mary Beth. I don't know what to do now. Maybe we should spin it to win it <laughs> for that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> And one more thing, while you're, while you're just, I'm going to let you decide. While you're deciding, I'm going to say hi to somebody. Uh, let's see. It's, where is Charlotte's? She brought a friend. Oh. I think it needs to be Jane Smith's. I brought a friend tonight. Say hi to Caroline. Caroline. She's new. Or Carolyn. Welcome. Welcome, hi, Caroline. welcome. It's Caroline. If it was Carolyn, it would be Lion. Okay. <laughs> Don't yell at me. I think it needs to be Jane Smith because Jane Smith did say that first, but it was late. And so I wanted to just double check. Jane Smith says that's okay. You hear me? You're, yes. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So then when we brought it back up, I just, I don't like for people to be mad at me. Okay. Uh -oh. So I'm making the executive decision that it's Jane Smith. Okay. I'm sorry. But thank you, Cindy Lou. She always, it she always Cindy comes Lou. back and bids on stuff that we don't have. And it was Sandra K. Sandra K. Thanks to both of you guys. I love all of you <laughs> equally. Jane Smith. Jane Smith, it's you. So any of you guys who were winners uh, tonight, make sure that you send. I'm looking for my graphic. That's why I'm talking so slow. <laughs> uh, make sure you send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your YouTube name and your real name, your mailing address, mm -hmm. so that we can calculate your shipping, and your PayPal email address so that we can invoice you. So we appreciate all of you. We do. Awesome. Very much. Jane Smith. <laughs> They're all saying no one's mad. That yeah. You're very diplomatic. Thanks. Thanks. But I do think it needs to be Jane because Jane did say it first. Oh, look. Sandra Kay. Jane can have it. Jane. Y'all okay. are all so good. You guys are good and great. <laughs> <laughs> very much so happy. So happy. I have a mystery box. Does that you, watch, no, everybody's going to like give it to each other. Nobody's going to claim it in the email. I love everybody. <laughs> I have a mystery box. And it's a bonus elephant. It's exciting. It's a bonus elephant. Yay, because, everybody. Because this little guy is going to be in here. Cool. You want to hold that? That's fun. Look, he has a guitar. <laughs> Look how happy he is. And he's small. He's, you know, he's quite small. Oh. <laughs> But he's playing his little guitar, and he's very cute. And Jamie says Blake's mad at your shirt. I'm sorry, Blake. <laughs> what are what are I don't know what you want, want from me. <laughs> anyway, he's got a little Japan mark on his butt. Oh yeah, look, he's marked really good. It's just scribbled right across there. It's on his butt, Japan. He's playing his little guitar. He's got his trunk up, and he's real happy about it. Again, he's real small. <laughs> He'll be in the mystery box. Carrie needs to know why he's playing a guitar. Why not? Is the better question, Carrie. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, so cute. Okay. Here's how we do our mystery boxes. We do our mystery boxes just a little bit different than the Fat Bird Five. Yeah, it's fun. It's like a game. It's fun. <laughs> Let me find my graphics so we can explain it better. I have graphics for everything these days, and I don't know how to find them. So, the way we do our mystery boxes is we do a spin to win. Okay, so, everyone who's interested in purchasing the mystery box will type the item number into the chat. 
All of our mystery boxes are $15. $15 for the mystery box. So we will give this um, mystery box an item number. So uh, just for kicks, just pretend that that item number is X. So everybody who types X into the chat, pretend that there's eight people interested. We will spin the wheel to generate a random number between one and eight. Pretend that number's five. <laughs> if you were the fifth person to type in the item number, then you will have won the opportunity to purchase the item. Hopefully that is clear. <laughs> clear, clear as mud. Clear as mud. It's just fun. It's a game. So yeah. Lots of people want, if you if you guys aren't, haven't been here before, lots of people like a mystery box. Yeah. So we tried to decide, instead of who's the fastest, a different way to pick who yeah. purchases it. So, oh, Mickey. Thrifty. No, I need the elephant. So <laughs> the mystery box is $15. Laura is about to give you, oh, I have a typo on. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> You still have a typo on the word typed. Oh my God, neither one of us has caught that, and Nikki either. What did I catch? There's a typo on my graphic. Ah. No. <laughs> Put it back up there. I don't want to no. see it. Hold on. Yeah, oh. I sure do. Oh no. Oh, no. That oh, just no. won't do at all. What a disaster. <laughs> God, I'm a failure. <laughs> Nikki's an English man. And she proofreads. And she sometimes. proofreads. So that's fantastic. Ha, in the past has pro proofread for a living. That's fantastic. <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyway. Yes. You win a prize. Well, uh, Sugar Bridges, yes. You <laughs> win all the prizes. Yeah. You get all the points today. Okay. Mystery box. $15. We're about to give you the item number. If there's 100 of you who want it, then we'll spin the wheel between 1 and 100. I better get my spinner out. You better get ready. Okay. So, $15, and the number is 31. 31. Where's my spinner game? Somebody take care of Jack Richards. <laughs> and you lose your spin. I did. Your I, spinny app. Yeah. We can't have that. Uh-oh. <laughs> No kidding where oh there it is. It doesn't look right. Um it does not look like what it should. And just remember he'll be in there. He'll be in there with some other goodies. <laughs> Carrie said, Well I did, but he got unhidden. So like if several of them do it, it cancels each other out. Did you know that? Oh no, I didn't. You didn't know that? Mm -mm. Ah, that's what happens. <laughs> Mary Warrior said, What should we do to him? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so terrible. So, somebody what? take care so of him. ominous. <laughs> Free range adulting. Now I get first place when it doesn't matter. That's what a lot of people say. <laughs> Sam, I love you, elephant. <laughs> Banish him forever. I have no wrench. I need to give out some more wrenches. Okay. Isn't Nikki a wrench? Why well, are they busy? She's been pouring Michelle, drinks. Michelle said I I got him too, so we canceled each other out probably. Okay, so that seems like a terrible system. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna count the people who are interested. Yes. Thanks, thanks, Michelle and Carrie. But that seems like a terrible system that you can cancel each other out. Isn't that ridiculous? Right? So yeah, Michelle, you guys are all getting your junk journal instead ready, right? I found the perfect book. Michelle's going to be like recuperating with her knee surgery and she's going to be uh, wanting to craft. And I found the perfect book to make my like collage book. Like I'm not really big on journaling, so to speak, but I think junk journaling just kind of covers the whole thing. Right, Mary Beth? Yeah. And so I want to do the collage book. I think, I think I've counted 50. Nice. I think I counted 50. Okay, so Laura's going to spin the wheel between 1 and 50, and then I'll go back and recount, and we will um, select the winner. Nice. Okay, done. Restart. Do you see do you see 50 on there? It should yes, tell I me, do. It should tell me somewhere that there's 50. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready? Spin. Ah, hold it still. 13. Ooh, lucky 13. Okay, lucky 13. 
Okay, remember, guys, you guys are your your order of comments probably looks different than mine. I have to go by the way it looks on my end. So don't be mad at me. Okay, you ready, Laura? Count I'm ready. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Wait, I got confused. Sorry. Start over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Uh-uh. Right here. Oh, thirteen. Right? Okay. Is that right? Yeah, but I thought you stopped on the one above it and that wasn't a number. Yeah, I didn't mean to. Okay. That's right. Right here. That's it. Old Stuff Beth, Texas. Hey. <laughs> Old Stuff Beth, Texas. Thanks, Old Stuff Beth, Texas. I'm assuming you're Beth, right? I would assume so. I think so. Yay! Thanks, Old Stuff Beth, Texas. Thanks, Rep. Congratulations. Auntie Christy, did you refresh your end? No, I don't. I didn't because we go through StreamYard because we like to stream to Facebook and Periscope too. So if I refreshed, I would I would up. stop the feed. So yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we just have to go by what we have. Yeah. And I can't do it on my phone because that would just be the YouTube feed. And so here I'm getting everybody. Yeah. I'm getting people from Facebook and Periscope too. So that's why I do it that way. All right. <laughs> Carrie's mad. I've been mad. <laughs> okay, Beth, you did it. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. So we have what? We got one more friend mail also to show. Ooh, but thanks everybody for all the purchases. Very nice. And Good don't job, forget, everybody. don't forget if you're a winner, send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Even if you think we have your information, it just makes it that much easier for us to go through the emails and check everybody off. It's just a little bit easier for us. But if you have bought from us before and you forget to send your email, we'll try to track you. You know, we'll try to figure that out. For we'll try to track you down. <laughs> what are we going to do to him? That's my favorite thing that's ever happened. <laughs> what are we going to do to him? <laughs> that's great. Okay. Catherine Young, anyone know where the junk journaling info is? I missed it and I want to take part. Catherine Young, if you will email Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living, um, you just are supposed to email her to tell her you're interested. Am I interested? Yeah. You probably are not interested. You can help me with mine. Oh. <laughs> oh, is this a new one? This is the new one. This is oh. a different one. We're doing a taste test. Oh, this one's much better. I agree. I like this one much better. Yeah. The one we had before was a little wangy. We're, change, we're changing Chardonnay. Oh, this is much better. Good, good. We'll put this on the good list. <laughs> yeah. We're starting to make a list. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, Carrie, if you're buffering. It's probably me. It's probably our end. Oh, Ben says, Carrie, you can come to my house when I open my mystery box. I'm getting my vaccine number two tomorrow. Yay. Yay. Thrifty you, Sam. My husband's sucking up all my bandwidth with these dumb games. <laughs> Hey, you got good news today about a vaccine. Yes. You get to get vaccine through your work. Yeah, I haven't told, even told um, Katie and Mom yet uh, that the bank where I work, they have like um, a partnership with a place called HealthWorks and that supplements our insurance because we have like a high deductible insurance and then, but we have this HealthWorks and we can go, it's like a clinic and we can go and everything and they're going to set up with one of the local pharmacies in town and do our own private vaccine clinic because we're tier one C essential workers. Awesome. Yay. That's awesome. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll come pretend that I work there. Too. <laughs> Maybe you should. So yeah. Jamie says she's going to bring us a couple of cases of mine when she comes. Yes. Come on. I'm ready. <laughs> Try the peach wine from Aldi's. Mm, very nice. Good tip. That sounds good. Yeah. Hey, if you haven't if you haven't done it already, give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Very it'd, nice. It'll be great. Good job. So I'll just give you an idea of the rest of the jewelry. I'm wearing my beautiful heart that was sent just for me. And MB is wearing the gold, I mean the blue and orange. Blue and orange. But she sent several things. Like she sent this really, oh, I'm sorry. She sent this really pretty necklace. Look at that. And this bracelet. And several other, there's several other necklaces. And like, look at this, look at this cute little turtle. Oh, turtle bracelet. 
Uh, that's not doing very good, is it? And he slides on there. Cute. Like a charm. But then I wanted to show this, and there's several other ones, but then the ones in this bag were really pretty, too. And then we've got one other piece of friend mail here that we do. Yeah. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a horseshoe, kind of. It's like a little stone in a horseshoe, almost. Yeah, so look at this really long one. Oh, wow. I love pretty. that. I love that. See? Isn't that, look how long it is. I think you would almost have to double this one. Yeah. Pretty. Love it. Love it. Now we're going to have to find a jewelry box and to then, put this stuff in. Yeah. And sell it. And then I'm keeping my heart. And then she sent, like, there's a pair of these. Aren't those pretty? Cool. They smell pretty good. And they match the necklace really good, really well. Sorry. And look at these. These are fancy, too. Like chandelier earrings, you know? Oh, yeah. They're pretty. Oh, yeah, Charlotte. Charlotte loves jewelry. Oh, yeah. You, oh, that looks good. That's the other one I have in my hand. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Here, show that one that good. Are they they're not the same? Uh -uh, see, this is the pair. Oh. Cute, right? Very nice. So, yeah, these are real good. We will keep a couple pieces, and then we will... Put a couple pieces in a mystery box or in our in yeah. a jewelry box. In a jewelry box, right? Cool. Thanks, Lee. Thank you so much. It's so nice. And then, Mary Beth, then, we got this really pretty package sitting on the front steps. It yes. had flowers all over the pretty, like, poly bag. And look what a viewer did. You guys probably saw this happen on Misty Sale. Look, Misty Put, sent to you from Jeanette Vincent for Flippin' and Sippin'. You are loved. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, so Nettie, with the little pug logo, mm -hmm. um, she bought that at Misty Sill and had her send it to us. Yes. Isn't that nice? So it's just like a little trivia. It's a Saturday Night Live trivia game. So that, that is so, so sweet. I thought that was so nice. That is so awesome. I can't decide if we should play tonight or if we need to study before we play. Well, yeah, we'll have to play. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, <laughs> Jamie's like, yay, how fun. <laughs> Jamie seems like the Saturday Night Live type of girl. I bet Jamie's good at it. I bet Jamie and Blake rock at that. Is that was that it for mail that you wanted to show? Brooke says, wow, we're still on tier 1A. Yes, that's it for viewer mail. But... 1C. Well, 1C starts on Monday, so we, we haven't really started here yet. Gotcha. Okay, I have to admit that I'm probably, I love Saturday Night Live, but I only love, like, 90s <laughs> Saturday Night Live, and even that I'm not super knowledgeable about. Mm -hmm. So, this is probably going to be terrible. I remember when Saturday Night Live first started, I think, but... I mean, like the good old days with, I don't know if it's the first season, but the good old days with Chevy Chase and John Belushi and Gilda Radner, and, but I wasn't allowed to watch it. It was like way past my bedtime and inappropriate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it's like charades. Vinny, didn't SNL start in 1975? Maybe. That sounds about right. Some of this is charades. That's fun. Jamie says, there's like 45 years of content. God, that makes me feel old. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay, I'll just jump right in. What did the devil give to the church lady for Christmas? <laughs> oh, isn't that special? Isn't that special? <laughs> what did the devil give to the church lady for Christmas? Ah. Carrie says, I know how to say Mary Catherine Gallagher's spiel in Spanish. That's my talent. <laughs> ah. I haven't seen Zeno and George. Sin, Mary Warrior says. Is that, that right? That is not correct. Oh, that's a good that's guess. That's a good though. answer, though. She always said that. I mean, the church lady always said that, right? Sin. <laughs> An angel. angel. 
What's that? It sign? says a oh, devil yeah. doll for her dashboard of her Rambler. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> my favorite era is Billy Crystal, Dana Carvey, and Eddie Murphy. I know Eddie Murphy is my all time. I think my Will favorite, Ferrell, though, I like Will Ferrell. I think my favorite era is uh, Molly Shannon on a gas fire. Sherry O'Terry, Chris Kattan, that crew. Oh, yeah, somebody said, no, she said Satan all the time. That's right. Could it be <laughs> Satan? <laughs> Some of these are charades, so I'm looking through to try to find the questions. Oh, it's one of those kind of games that has, like, all different kind of questions. Like, it's not just straight-up trivia, right? Correct. Okay, who played the thing that wouldn't leave? Who played the thing that wouldn't leave? I think that's thing, an oldie. The thing that wouldn't leave. The thing that wouldn't leave. I don't know. What are, the top, what are these words at the top of the trivia cards? I don't know. Probably I should have read the directions. Yeah. You think? I like to just jump into things. You just grabbed these bo these cards out of the box. Harvey, Steve Martin, John Lovitz. The answer, my friends, is John Belushi. Oh, look. Pam, Pamela got it. Nice. What was the question again? Well, who played the thing that wouldn't leave? Yeah, you get 200 points for that, Pamela. 200, Pamela. That was a hard question. Okay. These are hard. Give the correct uh, Wayne's World expression for the following, like if something is remarkably good. What would Wayne and Garth have called it? Give the correct Wayne's World expression for the following. Remarkably good. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> That's right. Here you said Schwing. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, look, I think Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Yes. What are you looking for? So look the the ones at the top, yeah, are the subjects of the of what the trivia is. Oh, so coffee talk. Okay. Oh, I liked coffee talk. Party time, excellent. Party on, excellent. Party on, Garth. Christy Williams. Do we have to drink wine to join this group? No. I drink flavored rum and coke. No. You can A lot drink of times, water. Like, yeah, you can drink anything you want. You just sip anything you want. Yeah. It's all about just having a beverage. It can be coffee. It can be water. It can be whatever you want it to be. Who originally hosted Coffee Talk and who succeeded him? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. That's not... These are hard. Man, I think you would have to be like a real connoisseur of Saturday Night Live. Yeah, I bet... I bet nobody knows that one. Everybody's answering Christy. Saki. Melody, you're having Saki? That's fancy. Ooh, fancy that. They're all saying Mike Myers. That's who I thought too, but... I... This is Paul... Nora Dunn and Mike Myers is what Michelle's saying. Yeah, I'm kind of confused by this one. Because here's the, can you put the answer up there? Paul Baldwin, who was followed by Linda Rickman. Can I do it without I don't know messing do. this up? You can't get it too close. Okay, yeah. I've got one. Here, you guys will probably know this one. To be honest, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I don't either. Okay, on Weekend Update, Jane Curtin was upset that most letters from viewers said that the show was not as good as as when that sexy Chevy Chase did it. What did she do next? <laughs> so 
So on Weekend Update, Jane Curtin was upset oh, I love Jane that Curtin. most letters from viewers said that the show was not as good as it was when that sexy Chevy Chase did it. What did she do next? Well, Chevy Chase always fell all over the place everywhere. Did she like fall out of her chair or something? No. Okay. <laughs> Melody. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Good job, Melody. Very nice. Oh, that's funny. This says <laughs> she ripped open her blouse. Very Michelle good. opened her shirt. Very good. Good job, guys. My mom just called Vinny an old soul. Oh. There's nothing oh, wrong look, with that. Oh, look, a lot of people got it. <laughs> what else we got over there? You want to oh, you want to show some content? Yeah. Anybody want to see some content? Sure. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen this stuff. So I just took a quick little stop at the shed the other day. You weren't with me. Are you serious? Sorry. I'm, we we got to go back, though, because we got to get that fish for Vinny. I don't like when you go to the shed without me. <laughs> so look at this. I like, I like uh, antique malls like that better than the Goodwill. I know. I think we've all been talking about that, and I think that's really... I mean, it's really true. Look at this. Okay, I'm ready. Stop it. Hey. Do you remember when Vinny bought that for? Yeah. For Jeffrey? I do. I found another one. How about that? Look at that. Cute. And he's got a little made in California mark over here. And he's a little planter too. How about that? <laughs> Isn't that cute? Very sweet. I can't believe that you found another one of these. I know. And look, he was just like $5, I think. Nice. And somebody called him a swan. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this, you guys. This is a vintage swan planter. Isn't that cute? Bless their hearts. But she's got cute tags, that lady does. That's my new favorite booth. Well, bless her heart. Vintage Swan Planter. Jeffrey just sold one of those. I know. He got it from us. I think he did. <laughs> he's probably, he's probably had a couple of them in his in his lifetime. Being such a big collector. Look at this. We could have had him for tonight. We'll have to have another planter night some some night. Because look at him. Oh, it's a little Dixie. How cute. So he's got a little paint going on his ear, but I mean, it's kinda, That's okay. It's, it's okay, right? I feel like that adds to his cuteness. Hi, Linda. Linda Barnum said, hi, everyone. How sweet. <laughs> oh, Karen Radford said, I got it. The flamingo. Very good, Karen. I think North is here. Hi, hi North. <laughs> yeah, I thought you would really like him. Look how cute. Yeah. I like that a lot. It's and Dixie. Then, look at this. I'm ready. Okay. Somebody says, uh, Miss Old Stuff Beth, Texas. He says Michelle eyebrows. <laughs> I love it. It looks like Michelle. Okay. And look at this. So I found this little bag, and it's, it says four figurines. For four ninety nine, isn't that fun? Look, it's like a little mystery bag of Wait, figurines. Wait, I have to show this one. Wait, <laughs> wait for it. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> what do you guys think about that? No. Isn't he awesome? <laughs> He's got oh, a look. We just showed a little bit, and they're like, "I like the skunk." He's got a little Japan mark. Look at his eyes, though. He's got a tiny chip on his ear, but it's really, you know, you can really repair that pretty easy because it's not a chunk that's gone. It's just like a little chip. Those eyes, though. Is that a cat? <laughs> I think Jamie's screaming that it's terrifying. <laughs> Straight from the pits of hell, <laughs> Amanda said. No, oh, this is cute. So maybe $4.99 was a little too much to pull this back. 
<laughs> I thought it was really good. I think I like it. El Eclectic Deb, put him down. Misty has started a new collection with crazy face figurines. Really? Well, oh, she needs him. We might have to send that to him. He's to got, her. He's got a little sticker there on his side. He's like, looks like he's real strong. <laughs> he's flexing. I think he's cute. And what's he marked? Um, Victoria Ceramics, Japan. Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. And look, look he can could hold like your pen. Hold on. <laughs> That's pretty cute. <laughs> and look, here's the little skunk everyone to see. It's furry even. Oh, that's pretty cute. But I think it was supposed to have babies on the chain. So oh. you can see where his neck is. Yeah. But it's still super cute. <laughs> that cat hasn't slept in a month. <laughs> Lavish mango, that's funny. So isn't that cute? Very cute. So I, like said, I was just typing that he can hold your pen. So yeah, you can see like his little, under his chin, he would have had a chain. Yeah. yeah, look at these two. Charlotte's like, the bear looks scared too. They really have all been through something. <laughs> Maybe they were scared of the skunk in the bag. <laughs> that cat. It's like my new favorite thing ever. <laughs> ah. So anyway, he's a souvenir of Tennessee, this little skunk is. And that sticker is like right on his business. Oh, that makes sense, Caroline. What? Caroline that's new tonight. She said, I've seen that bear and they hold fish that salt and pepper shakers. There you go. Yeah, you can tell that he's made to hold something, so. They've seen some stuff. That's cool. And look, this one's marked Japan, and he needs cleaning up, but I didn't want to, like, take him out of the bag. Look. He's, he's playing a leaf like a violin. This would terrify Alex. Chapter 2 ended. She hates frogs, and he's particularly froggy. <laughs> look at him. He looks kind of, uh, I don't know. Intimidating, doesn't he? Look, what's he playing, Mary Beth? Well, he's, it's a, I mean, he's, it's meant to look like a violin, but it's a leaf. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that cute? That's pretty cute. You know, creepiness aside, <laughs> four of these cute little figurines for $4.99, that's a deal, man. Right? Isn't that cute? That's a major deal. I love those. Where did you find these? At the shed? Yeah. Were these all in the same booth? Yeah, they're in this bag. No, we're, everything that you've showed me with those two planters, too, was this all in the same oh. booth? No. Okay. The puppy dog might have been, though. The world's smallest violin. That's kind of cool, Laura. Good job. Thanks. And then... This is my new favorite thing ever. Look at that face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then... I should have ended with that. That was really the big to-do there. Those were off, awfully cute. But this is cute. Do you have a tea light? Like one of those leftover, like, battery, um, a battery tea light? It I does. don't think so. Okay, it doesn't matter. That's I don't okay. think I've got one out but here. But look at this. Look at, this is from that booth that the flamingo was from. And isn't that cute? It's like you put a tea light in there. And then, I don't know, it's just cute on your shelf. Isn't that cute? Cute. And it's signed by whoever made it. Heather or something. Goldman? Goldmine? Goldmink? <laughs> <clears throat> so I think that's cute. That's kind of springtime looking. Um, cool. I think I showed you him, but we got this. For an upcoming bonus elephant. Oh, he's a good bonus elephant. Isn't that cute? It's uh, it's like a dresser tray, and then it's got a little elephant on it, made on it, and it can be a ring tree. That one's cute. And look, it's like from the Nate Burkus collection, so it's modern. But you know Nate Burkus, like of Oprah Winfrey fame? I don't know who that is. Oh, he's a designer that got famous on Oprah. Awesome. Oh, Yoso Boho says gold mint. Yep. Oh, okay. so what is that, Amy? 
Does she just make all different kind of stuff, or what does she make usually? Look at that little guy on there. Gold mink. I thought you might like him. Read Jamie's comment. Wait for it. Laura gets five swung bases. Ah, thanks. Yeah, you do. Oh, you're going to hate this. Wait, let me give you your swung bases. Okay. Wait for it. And yeah, I even have one more item. You get five out of five swung bases. Thanks. Very nice. Mom, is this better than jewelry? My mom about had a heart attack last week. Oh, I don't like those. Because we showed jewelry. Um, I knew you wouldn't. I knew you would hate these. They're kind of, I know they're not Victorian era, but they kind of look Victorian because you know how the Victorian, in the Victorian era, they use like real stuff, like real hair and real feathers and real fur and stuff like that. So somebody has put real feathers on these little birds. Ooh. Same booth again, that lady that had the flamingo. But they're pretty cute, you know? I kind of wish they didn't have the feathers on them. Yeah, if those feathers weren't, like, glued on there, that would be not bad. I guess if somebody wanted to buy it and take those feathers off, they could, right? <laughs> Let me see that more closely. That's pretty cool. Melody's miscellaneous. Diana, I am a Nate fan from New Zealand. Yes. Mom yeah. said yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Mom. But... I've redeemed myself. Elba. <laughs> Mama Layman. <laughs> That's how I feel about this as well. They're cute, though, without those feathers. Hi, Catherine Bell. Thanks, Catherine. Catherine gave us a thumbs up. That's nice. Thank Yay. you so much. Thanks. All right, Laura. Good call. Thanks. So I can't believe that you didn't get that marlin, though, that swordfish while you were there. I know. What are you thinking? Should I show the picture? No. What? No. Because then everybody's hopes are going to get up. Oh. Oh, Vinny says I've sold those birds before. Oh. Melody, you should Did your birds have feathers on them? What, did, what happened? What did you see? Oh, I'm just. Melody said, Laura, you should have stopped at the frog. <laughs> I'm feeling that cat, though. <laughs> that cat is like. My mood. <laughs> this is like how I feel <laughs> sometimes. Oh, look. Oh, Boob got up in the background, didn't he? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. You can come back. Okay. <laughs> I like it. All right. Show the, yeah, Sandra came wants to see the picture. Oh. Of the Marlin. Okay. I just don't know. I've never seen anything like it before, but I feel like it's cool. <laughs> that cat is how I looked last week. I'm sorry, Carrie. It's not funny. Oh, no. I think I deleted it. I might have it. Oh, that's right. I can find it that way. Hang on. I think you texted it to me. Hold, oh, please. I'll find it. Oh, I can probably find it before you can. <sighs> yeah, I've already found it. Catherine Feld, did you sell all the perfume bottles? No, we could show a few of those that we've got left, but we did sell a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just, we'll see if that comes through. So it's like a... a see, it, look, it looks almost like Hager. It's got that little wave like down there at the bottom, and it's a planter. And that big swordfish at the top. I feel like he's pretty. I also like that picture back there behind him, <laughs> that white picture. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It does look like a year to me. Auntie Christy said it's pink. It's pink. <laughs> Was it pink? Yeah. Oh. Can you not see it? A pink marlin. <laughs> Can you not see that that's pink? Carrie said, how dare you not buy that? Right? That's what I said. Well, I thought we should go back and, and make the video. Well, we could carry it back in there and pretend we found it in there. It's probably not there anymore. Yeah, Laura was like, I left this here so we can go make a video about it later. I'm like, why did you do that? <laughs> Auntie Christy said it's supposed to be blue, right? I don't know. I don't know. Christy. Lisa Day says that cat's how you look when you've had a one swung vase day. It's true. It's bad news. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to 
Maybe it's Hulk. Maybe it's not Mars. I did look. I did look. I know that Hull intermixes Betsa some of their pink and blue. Maybe it is. I know that Hull intermixes a lot of their colors, like between pink and blue. I learned that when I was looking up that turkey pigeon. <laughs> that pigeon. Oh, that turkey. That pigeon that I called a turkey for a week before I realized. <laughs> I may go get a couple of those perfume bottles. Okay. Just to show. Okay. Finny. D sent me the Marlin Avon bottle. I still love my mermaid Avon decanter. Awesome. That's so cool. Oh, Amy says she's looking for it. MB, I'm looking in my whole reference books to see. Very nice. Ask George or Danny, they'll know. Yeah, they will probably know. <laughs> what? Oh, Michelle. Michelle says I should have hit it. You know, like, have you ever done that before? <laughs> like, I remember we did that on Black Friday one time. We did. We didn't want to stand in line, so we hid the stuff that was on sale that we wanted. Like in some random spot. That's funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you do like perfume bottles and you missed our video this week, yes, then there are still a few left. So let me just show you a, a few of the ones that are left. Okay, you show those. I'm going to get us the other game that we're going to play. Okay. Okay. So here's one really cool, the little stopper at the top. This one is... Uh, Corlane, I think, bottle made in France. Very cool shape bottle with the stopper. Here's a little baby one, little baby perfume bottle. This one is uh, marked Balenciaga on the bottom. Really cute little stopper with the little ribbon. Really sweet. This one's a really cool shape with the stopper. This one is unmarked. Really pretty stopper in the top. I love the shape of that one. And one more. This is one of my favorites. I can't believe that it didn't sell. It does have a little bit of damage, so that might be why. That is just like such a statement right there. That is gorgeous. I love the shape of that. There is a little bit of a chip here and the inside is a little bit rough where the stopper goes down. But that is so pretty. So that's just an example of a few of the ones that we have left. We have sold most of them, but just wanted you guys to be aware that we do have a few of those left. The ones that we do have left, we will uh, probably put on eBay. Laura, you're always indecisive. She's act, she said, she said, I'm being indecisive tonight. Like that's different from any other night. Yes, Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. That's right. I just had to throw that out there. What? <laughs> Myrtle Snow's last word. Oh, yes. That is an American Horror Story reference. Sorry. Did you? Did we not want to show? We can, I guess we can play a little bit more, and then if we've still got people hanging around, I can show you my the linens portion of my finds. Right? Catherine Fell, um, send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. I have a list on the video of the numbers of the ones that we have left. So just uh, send me an email. Yes. Whichever one that you're interested in, and uh, we can we can do that. I don't remember the item numbers of these that I just pulled. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. You better, you better remember when you go back in there so you'll put them back right. Okay. 90s trivia. That's 90s trivia. That's more that's, my jam. That's what I've landed upon. Okay. Okay. Fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Are y'all ready? Yes. Okay. Which of these characters is not a character played by comedian Mike Myers? Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Garth Alger. Fat Bastard. Dieter from Sprockets. And Austin Powers. 
I don't know this, the third one that you said, the Sprockets one. I don't know who that is. So that could be it. And I didn't, what was the first thing you said? Garth Algar. A-L-G-A-R. Who's that? <laughs> is that like Wayne and Garth? No, I don't know. Is that Garth like from Wayne's World? Is that his last name? I if don't know. so, that wasn't him. I'm going to say Garth. You would be correct. I guess, is that, is Algar, is that his last name from Wayne's World? I think so. Okay. Sprockets. How about Dieter from Sprockets? I don't know who that is. Or Dieter. Is it Dieter or Dieter? Like Erica's dad's name was Dieter. <laughs> yes, MB. Thanks, Melody. Okay. Which of these is not a character from the Rugrats? Oh, I don't know. Ah, I would know that. Okay. From Katie. Katie will get this one. Okay, let's hear it. Would it be Dexter, Tommy, Dill, or Spike? Well, I would just say Dexter because I feel like Dexter was a, another cartoon from that same time period. Right? You would say that's the answer? Wasn't there a cartoon called Dexter? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, a lot of people are saying Dexter. Is that right? Yeah. Yes. Katie had baby Dill. Dill's Tommy's baby brother. Tommy was the leader. Like Charlie Brown is the leader of the Peanuts. Or, is he? Yeah, is he the like leader? Like the main character. No. Yeah. Snoopy's the leader. No. Spike is the dog. Wait a second. In Red Grass. Wait a like second. Snoopy. We need to have a conversation. <laughs> the leader... Like, Leonardo is the leader of the Ninja Turtles. Charlie Brown is the leader? No way. Well, he's the main character. Is he? Yeah. He's so awful. <laughs> he's the worst. Oh, poor Charlie Brown. It's definitely Snoopy. Snoopy and Woodstock make that show. Charlie Brown is just like wallowing around all the time. He just complains. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you disagree? No. <laughs> I need I need you guys. Linus is the leader. They says think Lavish Lucy's Mango. the leader. I think Linus is the leader. Nikki also thinks that Linus is the leader. Snoopy. Lucy. Lucy and Snoopy. <laughs> Lucy seems so controlling that I'm pretty sure that she's the leader. Yeah. You have been, you've been uh, put in your place. I guess so. How does that make you feel? Uh, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think I'm uh, offended. <laughs> Snoopy's my favorite too. I love Snoopy. Yes, Linus for sure. Lucy is a bitch. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel, Melody. Melody, why do all the strong-minded women become bitches? <laughs> well, because she kind of is. <laughs> because she's kind of the worst, too. She's mean to Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh, Charlie Brown kind of deserves it, though. Does he? Yeah. Poor Charlie Brown. I just want to take him home with me. Well, maybe you should do that. <laughs> Carrie says I'm not high enough for this <laughs> Oh, I agree, Lavish Mango. Charlie might be the main character, but he's not the leader. I will agree with that. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like Carrie from Sex in the City is the main character, but she's not the best character. Hmm. Huh. She's kind of the worst. Hmm. Oh, there's a whole other conversation. That's an unpopular opinion, probably. <gasps> anyway. Okay. Here's a good question, a 90s question for also, you. Also, Meredith Grey is not the best character, but she's the main character. Oh. That's all. She's the leader. You think? I don't think so. 
I think she is. Miranda Bailey is the leader. Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I am going to go to the hospital to have a procedure done, I want Miranda Bailey to do it. Lisa Day, why is everybody always picking on Charlie Brown? Absolutely. I mean, you, you just like, you know, jumped right in with the crowd. Poor Charlie Brown's going to flail, throw himself off the side of a cliff somewhere. <laughs> Beth is mad at me because I just Carrie Bradshaw. I'm sorry. Charlotte, let's drink. <laughs> <Okay>. Drink, Charlotte. <laughs> if you miss the question, just drink. Yeah, define leader, Mary Beth. That's a good question. I, I feel like more often than not, the leader <laughs> is like the, the extroverted, outspoken person who gets stuff done. Let's move on. No. <laughs> But that doesn't have to be the definition of a leader. Okay. So Charlie Brown can be a leader in his own way. Okay. I'll agree. Okay. Thanks. Huh. Okay. Charlie gives me a thumbs up. Okay. Which one of the following was not included in the lyrics for the 90s grunge anthem, Smells Like Teen Spirit? Ready? What was not included in what? What did you say again? You heard me. No, I didn't. What was not included in the lyrics for the 90s grunge anthem Smells Like Teen Spirit? Okay, I'm ready. Okay. A libido, a mosquito, an albino, or a Dorito? Say them one more time. <laughs> a libido, a mosquito, an albino, or a Dorito? I'm going to go with A. I'm giving everybody a chance to answer here for a second. A. It's uh, a Dorito. Was it A? No. A Dorito. It was a Dorito. <laughs> You look skeptical. Well, <laughs> because the logo looked like a Dorito, somebody said? Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> Here you go. I'm mad now. They really, what did they say about a libido in the song? I don't know. He just says a bunch of words that rhyme. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All the words, all the words sound to get sound the same in that song. Yes, I love the pins. Yes. Oh, so I think we're we're losing interest here. They want you to draw. Oh. Well. Hold on. Oh, oh, Vinny, thanks a lot. What? Oh, she, he wants me to explain what a libido is to him. Look it up, Vinny. i got to tell you something funny. Me? Yeah, I was talking to my boss at work today. We were telling funny stories or whatever, and he said his mom, <laughs> she put something in the refrigerator to marinate, but she said that she put it in there to masturbate. No, she didn't. <laughs> Laura, you can't say that. This is a PG show. Isn't that funny? Laura. <laughs> oh, I think that's so funny. <laughs> uh, I think maybe somewhere. Yeah, some of these 90s ones are drawing ones. So we could do that, right? I'll have to let Let's you hold this. I don't have my second camera set up, so you'll okay. have to hold it. I will. I'm just going to find you a couple. Or I can just stand here and put it here, maybe. Okay. Maybe that will work. Can you, like, not let that? Well, in just a second. Well, just don't move. I'm going to turn this light off. Okay, 
So I've got several good ones here. So we're still going to stay in the 90s, but you're going to draw these. Okay, I'll try. Okay, are you going to give You're the me blue ones, so hang on. Are you going to give me a card? Um, yes. Okay, is everybody ready? All right. I'm drawing like crooked. I'm drawing sideways. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm going to do my best. Okay, everybody. Some 90s. Oh, I messed up on my other ones that I had. Not all these are drawing. <laughs> Mary Beth, come on. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, there's no guesses yet, Mary Beth. Well, <laughs> I think everybody's scared to guess. This is from the 90s. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> oh, my God. Hang on. I hear another one. These were awesome. It probably didn't look like this, though. What in the world? Oh, look, somebody said it. Who said it? Jimmy got oh Lisa Day Where? in Soul Nate. I can't I can't do the mouse too. You're gonna have to do the mouse. <laughs> They're getting it. They're getting it. It's a super soaker. It's a super soaker. Super soaker. Everybody wanted one of those. Super soaker. Even Nate water gun. All right. All right. You ready? I guess me? that didn't look very good at first. This no, is, it didn't. This is a PG show. Okay, I'm ready. Do you have another one? Yeah, here's one. one. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're ready. <laughs> oh, Carrie got it. Roll yes. Woo! I had <laughs> rollerblades. Well, they started, um, they started, um, having rollerblades in the skating rink, right? Oh, yeah. I went to a middle school roller skating party and I couldn't do it and I was really sad and so I taught myself how to rollerblade. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that there was something you couldn't do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Well, you can pick a different one. Well, I'm going to do my best. Well, this is, I'll, I'll give you guys a question while she's drawing. The number of feet of gum in a roll of hubba bubba bubble tape. How many feet of gum do you get? Somebody said they just donated their rollerblades to get well. Oh, I wish I still had mine, but I don't think I do. 25 feet, 52 feet. <laughs> no, it's six feet. I got it. Six feet of gum. 25 feet would be awesome. <laughs> Is anybody getting that? Probably not. You're supposed to be watching. Somebody said a man. <laughs> yeah, but these glasses. Waldo. Nope, that's no. not it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Urkel. Yes. Urkel, Michelle. Urkel. Yes. Yay. Lots of Urkels now. Very nice. Orville Redenbacher. That's <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, okay, put great. that in the dung pile. Okay. I am. Okay. Oh, my gosh. What does this thing look like? I can't even think. <laughs> it's hard to draw something without looking at it. Yeah, I know, right? Let's see what I can do. I'm picking all the drawing ones out. Oh my God, that's good. Is it? <laughs> that's really good. Uh, no. Charlotte, look, you've got one. It's Barney. It was supposed to be Barney. <laughs> it looks, I don't, it looks kind of like Puff the Magic Dragon. <laughs> the square head, it, it looked more like Barney before you put. This on here. Oh. Barney didn't have those. Oh. He, he had that squared off head like that. That's why I thought it was really he good. He had a square head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, yes. These were awesome. Okay, hold on. Can we do this? Can we hold it? Night, night. You can't talk about these. They have to get them. <laughs> oh, wait, God, somebody got it already. I didn't think they would. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't think they'd get it that quick. Carrie, a slap bracelet. Yes. Carrie, that was awesome. I'm still taking a drink. Charlotte. We used to get in Take trouble. Take drink, Charlotte. We used to get in trouble for slap bracelets. Oh. Uh. Were you too rough? You were probably too rough. Well, I'm sure I was. Don't yell at me. Charlotte, what have you been up to? Charlotte, tell us what you've been up to lately. We need to know. Inquiring minds need to know. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what? You could slap someone with a slap bracelet. What's wrong with that shoulder? It's hard to draw at this angle also. I know I'm making up excuses. Okay. Puff sleeves. I forgot what you're what you're what you're even drawing. Shoulder pads? No. Stretch Armstrong. <coughs> Somebody said tribal tattoo. Yes, that's it. <coughs> that's it. Now a whole bunch of people are saying it. Yep, you got it. <laughs> How did you just come up with tribal tattoo? I feel like that's random. Is that just what they were called? Yeah. You don't have any more. I can't do these. <laughs> you don't like those two? Here, uh -huh. I'll try to do this one. Ugh. I'm still looking through. I keep forgetting there's backs to all these. This is terrible. <laughs> I forgot.
forgot what you were doing. Okay, let me let me try that again. I've got a different idea. Okay. There's a good one. Okay, there's this. That looks terrible. <laughs> you want to try a different one? <laughs> no, I've already started. Here, there's part of it. Okay. And then... What in tarnation? <laughs> the big comfy couch. That's a good guess. It's not it though. Just interesting though. <laughs> Musical chairs. Has anybody gotten it? I don't think so. Pinball machine, a razor chair, electric chair, pump. Yeah? Pump, the pump chair, inflatable chair. Yes. Yes. And blow up furniture. That's that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Some of these are awesome. What? Are you just blowing through these? A tire pump chair. Glad I'm not doing this. Which one are you doing? Oh, wait. I got it. What did Nate say? That looks like George Washington. A silhouette. Yeah. It does. What did Nate say? Oh, my tattoo is on my belly. It says don't laugh with a downward pointing arrow. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. Somebody got it. Crimp tear. Yes. Joel Nadal. She's not, not messing around. Melissa's resale. Yes. Very nice. It looks like George Washington in a powdered wig. Very nice. <laughs> it really does. Well, I'm doing my best. Why don't you draw? You would have to go like, you know, it's like draw a zigzag. That's what I did. Oh, when? Oh. <laughs> did I miss that part? You're the worst. <laughs> you don't want to draw that one? No. <laughs> Put it back up there. I've already oh, done inflatable chairs. Okay. Little, what does that mean? You've never seen those? No, I don't know what that is. Oh. I could probably draw that. <laughs> Benny said, quit fighting you two. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Beth, I'm so glad you love each other. <laughs> Charlotte, MB, you're a really good artist. Or am I drunk? <laughs> you're drunk. Christy said, MB, you can be on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody gotten a this? CD player? No. It's not a CD player. A DVD player. Yes. Vinny got it. Vinny got it. And, oh, Christy. Yeah. Good job. Do one more. Do this. I don't know what that is. Here, I'll just, okay. I'll just sound it out, basically. Okay, it's, it's five words. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Okay. Laura, you draw it. <laughs> Game system. 
Fruit. Okay, okay we got the word fruit. Hold on. Okay. Fruit. <laughs> Are we playing the hangman now? Well, sort of, because Mary Beth doesn't know what this is, and I could draw it probably. <laughs> so you have to kind of make okay, like make the Stop. make the top Go and away. the bottom the same, and then it's fat in the middle. Go away. <laughs> Underwear. Fruit, nutty as a fruit cake. V8 juice. Fruit cake. Has anybody gotten this word? Fruit in the barrel. Oh, wait. Somebody got barrel. Fruit in the barrel. Fruit cocktail. See, you didn't draw the, you have to draw the barrel like. Laura. <laughs> wait, let me just no, show you. I will get that comment <laughs> off of there. Oh, come on. Ham. <laughs> what did you draw that looks like ham? Oh, no. Oh, look, Benny, barrel drinks. Wait, I need the next word. He got that word. What? He got drink? Yeah. He said barrel drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, what's this word? Yeah. That's the first word. Well, nobody small. has said it. No, it's not small. Oh, I see it. Little. Oh, yeah, there it is. Annie P. Little blank fruit barrel drink. Oh, look, look, look. Wait, wait, wait. Vinny got it. Vinny. Did you drink those when you were little? I bet he did. What is that? The hug barrel kid drinks. <laughs> that Good job, Vinny. Vinny. That's so good. This is the one I was trying to get her to draw, but she wouldn't do it. <laughs> it would have been hard. <sighs> and a bag of chips. That made me tired. What is a little hug barrel drink? <laughs> They're about this big and they look like little barrels and you peel the foil off of the top and stick the straw in there. <laughs> I've seen those Katie's, before. Katie's over there going. <laughs> I've, I've seen those before, but who knew what that was called? <laughs> little hug barrel fruit. I think I wouldn't have got the hug part. That was a lot. <laughs> I feel tired. Uh, I used to drink squeeze it. Did you have ever have a squeeze it? No. What's in a squeeze it? Well, it was basically your barrel drink of my generation. Not barrel drinks were my generation. They were nineties. You twist the top off and you squeeze it, and it was a drink. And they were probably really gross, but I like oh, them. Oh, like those little Kool Aid ones, right? You cherry. <laughs> Katie's over there playing. Yeah, but they were squeezes. Gotcha. That, that was their brand name? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Stephanie, squeeze it. Yes. Squeezes were great. Yeah, I don't, I, you would have got me on that one. Capri Suns, that's what my kids drank. I never right. had a Capri Sun Vinny, when I was a kid. Did you ever see all the purses made of Capri Sun wrappers or people that did their walls? That's what Megan should have done. Katie, I wish we knew how many Capri Suns that Megan has drank in her lifetime because she still drinks them. And from when she was little. It's a lot. It's probably thou yeah. thousands. I mean, way more than thousands, though. Mm -hmm. Tens of thousands. <laughs> this is how I feel about little barrel hug drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased to say that we've retained most of you. It's really good. Throughout I'm going to show something else that I got. Oh, how about that? You were holding out on me. Yeah. Well, I was looking for something spring-ish, which I found some, not all of them are spring-ish, but some of them look very springy. So I got some more scarves. Isn't that fun? Wow. So look. Oh, wow. Pretty. Look how pretty that is. Very nice. There's tulips on there. Mm-hmm. And this one is made in Italia. Italia. <laughs> Do you want to know the audacity 
that Nikki has. What? Do you want to know what she said? What? Was she, it about me? No. Oh. She told one of her coworkers that she wanted to learn Italian. I told Nikki. Are you serious? I told Nikki like two weeks ago that I wanted us to take Italian. Yeah. To learn Italian. And, I was and like, she was like, yes, oh. like eat, pray, love. And she's like, why would we want to do that? I don't want to learn Italian. I'm like, I really want to learn Italian. <laughs> and she was like, I already know French. Let me just teach you French. And I'm like, I don't want to learn French. Then this dude at her work randomly out of the blue was like, hey, I'm learning French. And Nikki was like, funny story. I want to learn Italian. I was like, you did not. <laughs> Good night, Melanie. <laughs> the audacity. I was so mad. Oh, yeah. Well, well, Vinny, I haven't been making you drink. Or, you know, Charlotte drink for you. I see that you're not interested in my scarf. No, they're really good. Um, This one. Did you hear my story? No. Oh, oh good. good. What story? I just told a story about you while you stepped out. No. I did. Oh, my God. It's, Look, it's, these are all made in Italy. Isn't that pretty? These are the kind y'all like too, with the that are long and <laughs> narrow. Annie P, I think I need to be a mod. Is somebody acting up? <laughs> now you're. <laughs> <laughs> I do not think that I can go on <laughs> with this look. Well, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you not feeling it? Meredith is awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Thanks. <laughs> These are great. These are big. Yeah, look how pretty that one is. This one's very spring looking because it's pastel. You're just over there being silly. That one you've got in your hair is actually really pretty, but it's Christmassy. Oh, the Italian thing. Yeah, that thing. It's all last. What's Rhoda? <laughs> okay, so this one's made in Italy. The blue hanging tag makes it, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, I like this one. What is this one? Also made in Italy. You pretty. got these at the Goodwill? Yeah. Look how pretty these are. Very nice. These are good ones. Yeah, because they're even though they're really good to tie up in your hair, even though you are making fun of them. Laura Moon Woman, don't take this the wrong way, but why do you want to learn Italian? Because I wanna I wanna travel to Rome. That's like my one that's like my bucket. Look at my, this one. <laughs> trying to talk to my friends. <laughs> That's like my one main goal in life is to travel to Rome to see the art. And uh, I would like to speak a little bit of the language when I go, if I can. If I can, if I can manage it. Well, that's what I did. We're going to do it. That's how I tied mine and you made fun of me. No. Oh, my hair's sticking up. Though. Mine. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can you catch this? Yeah. Okay. These are good ones. I know. Uh -oh. I think this one's really pretty. Oh, no. It's like a mosaic tile. And just a couple more. I heard Rome gets super crowded. Yeah, that's for sure, Stephanie. It'll have to be. It'll have to be in several years when COVID is a thing of the past, for sure. That one's pretty. That one is pretty. These are all really good. Thanks. And then there's one. Uh-oh. Laura knocked over the cat. Gosh, he's so pissed <laughs> about it. Look at his face. Look at this one. Look, look, this one's really big. And it's really pretty. Wow. Gosh, that could be a tablecloth. Isn't that nice? Yeah. A tablecloth, I know, right? You really could use it like as a bathing suit cover up though, right? Wouldn't that be pretty? Yeah. I love it. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Don't break the cat. It'll unleash a oh. spirit. 
No kidding. I don't know what I would have to do to fix that. Good scarves, Laura. Thanks. I think they're really pretty. How much were they at Goodwill? Well, they weren't as cheap as at my auction when I got them all. Well, I mean, you can't really beat that. So they were like $1.99. That's not bad. Very good. See this one you had in your hair? Did you show it? It's, it really is pretty, but it was it's Christmassy. But isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. That's Echo, I think. But it's Christmassy. Okay. And what else do I have in my bag? Just a couple more things. This came from the shed. I paid a little bit up for it, but look how cute this is. The last one, piano scarf. Yes, be pretty. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? Yeah. A nice, big, oversized sham. You got it sideways. Uh-oh. There we go. And, Mom, what did you tell me about this kind of sham? Oh, look at the two birds in the middle. Isn't yeah. that sweet? I like that. I think that is so pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, where's the buttons? Oh, here's the buttons at the bottom on the back so you can see that, you know. Oh, yeah. Very cool. I love that. That'd be really cute in the linen sale. Good one. And then. Did you get this stuff at our Goodwill? Yeah. Well, this white sham was at from the shed. Oh, okay. I was sent a lot of people like that. Me too. And I got this purse. Okay. That might be for me, but that's, this is one of the sack purses. Oh yeah. Like I know Michelle sending me one. This one's too little for me. But isn't that cute? Yeah, Laura has to like pack everything in her house in her purse when she goes somewhere. Okay, now I I got these. You're gonna laugh at me. This is a goodwill purchase that I thought we could use for a bonus elephant. But they're cute. Look at these. <laughs> what are these? They're pillowcases. You know, like the long ones. Oh my gosh. But look, they've got these. Adorable little elephants all over them. Oh my god, they have on swim trunks. Here, let me hold it up. Oh, right. it's upside down. Look, one's got the surfboard, and then the little baby's got this. The mom has the surfboard, and that baby has on little swim trunks. That is adorable. Don't you think that'd be cute for bonus elephants? Sometimes? Yeah, very cute. And they're yeah. big pillowcases, too. They're for like king size pillows. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, and that would look really cute if you wanted to like use this for like a quilt piece or something. That would be good fabric. Very cute. Yeah. And then these little towels were for me, but we got one good afghan. Okay. Like I've, I've calmed down on buying the afghan. We've for, got so many afghans listed on eBay, y'all. I told Laura, I was like, we're going to have to sell a few before we get any more. Yeah, they were hot for a while. Now they're not. They'll, they'll pick back up again. Yes. This one part was perfect, so I felt like we had to have this one. Oh, that's a good one. We have a lot of luck with the zigzag fall colors, Afghans. We've sold several of these on eBay. I knew you would let me have this one. Is it wool? It looks like wool. It feels like it. Yeah, it? it is. Very yeah, nice. So that's a good one, I think. Mm -hmm. Very good. Carrie, you should stuff them and sew the ends and put them in the nursery. Oh. Michelle, I have sheets with elephants on them. Ah, that's awesome. Okay. Very nice. So, yes, we're in a mystery box for the, for the uh, pillowcases. Awesome. Good haul, Laura. I thought so. Very nice. Yes, but it takes me two or three trips to get up a little bit of a haul. Getting sleepy. Good night. Good night, Stephanie. Night, Stephanie. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate they it. They match your vases pretty. What matches oh, the yeah. vases? The Afghan. Oh. It does. Yes. It really oh, does. Yeah. Doesn't that look nice? It does. <laughs> okay, friends. Well, that's going to about wrap it up for us. Does anybody know if George is doing his cocktail hour? I don't know. His no, dance party? I'm not sure. George and Zeno's dance party? Dance party. I haven't. I don't think they're doing that. Maybe, maybe they stopped. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I kind of liked it, though. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie. I liked it. Okay. So, uh, don't forget to give us a like <laughs> for, for this guy. Or he will haunt you. He'll, he'll haunt the <laughs> hell out of you if you uh, give us a thumbs down. So, I mean, you know, be warned. 
basically. And if you see anything in my hall, if you have seen anything in this hall that you're interested in, email even, us. Even the perfume bottles, just email us. Mm -hmm. And if you want to check out the perfume bottle video, yep. uh, we will post on there which ones are still available. Yes, we've already done that. Yeah, good job. I, I meant we will keep it up, keep it updated. Yeah, right? yeah, we pinned a comment for the ones that are still available. So you can reach out to us that way too. We will probably do invoices tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow for the Fat Bird Five. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we'll either do invoices tomorrow or Sunday. Yeah, but. I mean, because I think I can estimate for the invoices. All those little planners are probably fit in the same size box. Okay. Yeah, Laura's got Katie here over the weekend, so. I forgot. Look at some good stuff in that little hall. Look at that. Yeah. I love that stuff. Okay, guys. Charlotte. Charlotte. It cracks me up. Whenever you've got that screen up there, all those questions over there, I feel like you're asking me questions. Oh. So I feel like a lot of pressure. Well, they can't so see what you're talking tell about. Tell us a little about yourself. <laughs> Laura. She makes me nervous. Laura, tell me a little about yourself. <laughs> I have all these questions up from our power hour. Or something. I don't remember. I How did you become interested in vintage items? How did you become interested in vintage items slash thrifting? <laughs> like the questions that everybody asks over and over again. And look, I have Jamie's email up here. <laughs> I have what's the worst fashion, fashion or hair decision you've ever made. I don't know what all that's from, but I've got lots of questions in here. I think maybe next week... We should play like Fat Bird Trivia. A.T. Christie came up with that idea. Yes, Fat like, Bird Trivia. We'll we'll make the graphics, won't we? We'll make, we will. We'll make the graphics we, for that. We will make the graphics. You guys, sorry. Thanks for all the friend mail. Yes. Thanks for that. Thanks to Nettie for the trivia game. Thanks to Jamie. Thank for you, the Jamie. Kangaroo. Jamie, you can't know. How happy I am for a little honey bunny here. Thanks to Lee Spencer for the cute jewelry. And to Kelly at Lost So Vintage for the cute Valentine's. And uh, for the trivia game. Did you say <laughs> that already? Said, yeah. Jamie said, yay, email me everyone. Yes. <laughs> Spell the check. booby roo. That's, who it, that's what they were calling it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Okay, guys. That's all I've got. Do you have anything else? No. That's all I got. Okay, friends, give us a like if you haven't already. After this video posts, you can come back and leave us a comment. Don't forget to check out the um, perfume bottles if you're interested in that. We'll put out a new video hopefully next week. Yes, let's give them all something to comment on. What, what can they comment on? I don't know. Uh, shoot. Come back and tell us what your favorite bag of chips is. <laughs> What's your favorite bag of chips? There you go. That's after, a good one. after this video post, come back. <laughs> And let us know what your favorite bag of chips is. So thanks to everybody who purchased from us tonight. And we will invoice this weekend. And make sure, everybody, that you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Good night, everybody.